Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're doing great as always, and I'm back here. I'm back here to present you with some other findings, other knowledge um, today. I'm not sure if I should be calling this today or yesterday or uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, it's 2 a.m. Um, I'm not like just kind of recording these podcasts as vlogs and just like really sharing everything that I have and the findings I, I kind of like just, just get to... Um, get to know or just get to apply that's come to my mind um, first of all I guess like if I'll be just aiming for making these podcasts even better uh, then there, there are a lot of things that have to happen uh, that's that's the first point I want to share uh, the second one is is about like focus time and Why it's why why it gets just such a disproportionate returns when you're focusing on one thing. Um a week ago or so I, I just like literally um got get started with a few new projects and stuff and um just literally um after a few days just just got got myself to the ground and like just really ask myself the question, okay, like where would will I be able to just get the highest disproportionate returns and the and the current time that I have and the answer was pretty straightforward. And then just like, okay. And then the decision was pretty fine. Um, in terms of like just benchmarking and everything and even the time investment, I guess like on a long enough time, time in a long enough time frame, it's, it's not that much. On a short period of time, like you perceive that you're just doing so much every single day and you ju- just don't really see the progress on a day-to-day basis, even though the progress is happening every single day. You just don't perceive that. So uh, I mean, like that's the biggest thing that you, you are make you can be making progress every single day, but you you're just not feeling that. Like you're just having these little shifts here and there, uh, upgrading your identity, just just getting things better, just getting things working better and better. But you're just not perceiving that, but because you're just too far sighted and just just wanna have the most perfect version of yourself right here and here, uh, right here and right now. The biggest factor in terms of like just literally, I don't even see that. It takes a lot of dedication, focus, and sacrifice to achieve something. And I didn't understand this for a very long period of time. In terms of sacrifice, I don't really... It's not just about sacrificing things that you don't want. Uh, maybe to rephrase that. It's about sacrificing second-order priorities for the first-order priorities or, for, in other words, for the things you want the most. And, like, just that that kind of drives the point, point, point in. Um like if you look at Ronaldo or or other professional sports people, like they're kind of committed. Like Ronaldo, or like all the sports people might not be the brightest students in schools, might not be the most talented people in math, might not be the best. Um, well, let's say if they're football players, might not be the best people playing basketball, or might not be the best swimmers in the world. But they're just like really focused on doing the one thing and being the best in the world at that. And that takes time. Like imagine if you're like, like boil this down, and even like from a different point of view, like if you literally if you're starting something, if you're if you've ever played sport in the past, if you've like even if you look at a child and it's like the child is learning how to speak, the child is learning how to like just everything, everything. In, so just like the basic skills that it it has to have, like even walk, like even walking, like if you look at a child as it's learning learning to walk, it like doesn't happen from a day day to day. Like one day it doesn't know how to walk, and then the second day it, it already knows how to like sprint, um, like very without any mistakes, and and like this is the thing that. Like the shift will happen. You just have to be patient enough to to see, for, f- foresee it, and, and just like experience it as as well. Focus um, and time, because like those are the biggest biggest factors that even even right now I uh, just really kind of refocus most of my energy on on one one project, and right now just making it as as a big um as big of a success as I possibly can, and that's it. Like you just. You're focused with the activities you're doing. You're focusing your energy. I, like that's the you rather be doing less things and being really good at them than be doing a lot of them and just not really achieving anything with them. I guess like even here the the factor is that I'm just really trying to figure out 
like there has to be a way to balance doing two effects at the same time in terms of like social media and business, but then it's more of a, like a system that you're creating with the employees that you have that they, they actually take your work, workload. Yeah, um, that's still something that I'm, but, so to say, figuring out how to best structure that. Other than that, I'm not sure if there's anything else that I'd like to share. Guys, in terms of like some days you just feel that you really stretch yourself, I guess like this was pretty much the day. Um, every single day you're, you're just stretching yourself in a different way. And if you're just like, like, like literally, like that's the reason why you have to have focus and just focus on, on something because like there's this, this one a very important factor, which is the compounding effect that you receive as a benefit or as a consequence of time. Like the longer you do something consecutively every single day, the better you get. And the reason for that is that because like, essentially, if you just do something today, for example, I spent freaking 18 hours working on one, one single thing one single project today okay these 18 hours i just take them i have a few like just so many things noted down in my notebook in my head i just like understand the whole like all of the concepts much more profoundly and now i just have this knowledge and i know that tomorrow i'll be building on top of everything what i have and everything what i've done and i know that tomorrow i'll be able to deliver better results and and just be further ahead than i'm currently right now and the reason for that is that um, like I, I so to say have the background and what I've done in the past and even why things aren't really working that good when you're just so scattered around the place is that you're just like doing so many different things in, in terms of like the first consequence the first factor is that you just have to like divert your focus, which takes your mental power and will, willpower, which is very important for you. And the second thing is that you're like just starting out again and again, uh, the mo- man- momentum and everything else, and, and just like never getting to the disproportionate returns because you're st- always switching between different things. So, yeah, kind of like just a different concept or a different point of view here. Uh, like even even mine, um, it's like, just, just essentially looking at everything, even though the last 1500 hours that I invested into everything, it's 1500 hours in just about 94 or five days, or I mean, 96, 97 days, 98 days like that. Um, like the biggest thing that I confirmed is that you can just literally shift your life within 100 days. And if you just do the, do it one time, you just really prove yourself that you're you can do do a lot of stuff within a short period of time. The biggest takeaway for me is that it's a lot about just channeling this energy and focus in one direction, and just really becoming really clear about the direction in which you're funneling it through, and the, the kind of also balancing. I'm I'm still kind of figuring this out in terms of education. I also experienced kind of like a breakthrough in terms of how I'm viewing that point. I spent in the last, I'm not sure, like 169 hours in the last uh, 169 of the one, last 1,500 hours uh, like since, since, since November, where I pretty much spent on a general education in terms of studying different kind of books that I um, was interested in and, and just literally so way how they would help me just get 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 faster to the point where I want to eventually get. In the end, I just literally threw them out this month, February, I just literally threw them out of the window and uh, not literally, but I mean, like just, I stopped listening to them because I just really focused majority of my energy on studying studying relevant information for, to me. And, and just like those specific relevant information are very niche down. And that's even the thing that I understood based on my college and university background is that they just give you so much general knowledge which you can't really apply anywhere. And for that reason, I just literally threw, the, threw that crap out of the window and refocused my energy on like two things. The first one is practical uh, application and the second one is um, the actual just business education, but from the right sources, just studying the tech 
and the pl practical applicability of co concepts that I can just go and then apply wherever I want in terms of, for example, how to conduct sales calls on on a different, even like upgrading my skills at Deer because I still feel that a few things need, have to be brush, brushed on Deer. So those are a few things. Just let me refresh this here. Yeah, uh, I mean, like today was the was longest day uh, since, since the, like in this 94, 94 day um, journey, 16 hour, 18 hours and six minutes. I'm, I'm not sure, like it was a pretty, pretty decent day. And that's the thing, like you're just in the end, just I'm going to I'm going to have a good sleep now, um, probably like seven hours or so. But at the end of the day, you're just like kind of finding yourself and, and just like the only person who is able to stop you is you, no one else. Um, and, and like, just that that's the thing, like, you'll never regret just giving it, give it in less. And even my point of view, like, okay, I just made the decision to divert 18,000 hours of my actual time that I could have invested into different opportunities into university, because like the circumstances in which I've been back then, or even the decision that I've made back then, back then it, they kind of like, at least I thought that they made sense. I awfully, um, sometimes I'm just like really literally um, wanting to kick my ass for staying here for such a long time and not going, not quitting sooner. Other days I'm just like literally feeling that, okay, whatever happened, happened and just let's just roll with that. <sighs> yeah, um, so now just pretty much just following like everything to practical application and, and that's the thing, like even with practical application, I'm just like literally now is the time where I'm niching everything now. I, in the last two months, like, November, December, I niched down everything. Um, and January, I, I niched it down even more. And February is like just super niche down. I'm, I'm pretty much not responding to anyone on social media. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm just like saying no to absolutely everything, which feels great because you're just like, okay, saying yes to a few opportunities. And as a consequence, just growing so freaking fast that you're, it's hard for you to just comprehend the growth that you're experiencing. Yeah, uh, so like just doing the stuff you learn by doing and I guess that's the biggest break point for me. Kind of excited for the next few months because like um, a, an inspiration for me is is just really looking at the, all of the best people out there. It's like just literally like all of the best people out there, they have their 10,000 hours in, in a form of failures, in a form of just going out there and just trying stuff, even if it didn't work out. And like my point of view is that, okay, I just want to repli replicate that even more. I just want to, okay, um, regardless of where we are, I just like literally want to go for the journey. I just literally want to do that. Not, there's nothing else that I want to do. I just go out there and just experience everything. And whether it's good, whether it's bad, I mean, like I I don't really feel that it's, there's good and bad. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I know, um, but at the same time, like just, okay, the, the hard stuff you go through, that's the stuff that's building your character. And, and at the end of the day, I want to have a strong character. So, okay, great. Like, I mean, that kind of helps me, even though it kicks my ass, even though it feels like going to the gym and just um, lifting two, 200 kilograms in Romanian deadlifts. Who cares? I mean, like that's what builds me. So, yeah, this month will is 100 person invested into um, projects. Then pretty much just 100 hours. I mean, like, there are like 250 hours remaining that I should invest into school. I'll try to um, decrease the budget to 100 just to be very efficient with my energy investment. I don't really have time to spend. Spear and my my goal until the end of June, uh, where pretty much I'll just finish uni um, once and for all. I'll is to just let hit like 2,200 hours of time invested towards business activities. And just like literally just keep growing at this, um, taking taking things to the next level and, and just going going at this. And in terms of uni and, and stuff, like that's the thing. Like <laughs> literally whenever you want to scale something, it, it, there's always something on your mind. Like there's this, okay, like I literally have every single day, you need to log in, need to register for this, just lock my email, just respond to some emails, even though it like it takes just so much on my mind. And I'm just so much looking forward to just being super focused on the thing that I actually want to be working on. At the end of the day, I just know that you, you kind of see this hockey stick 
the success that you're like working for a few years and then eventually you see success in, in different forms i'm pretty much very open to that and like whatever whatever like mentality is that like i even enjoy this like it's i always was up for journeys i always was the kind of guy like just okay i, I like to do, do, do crazy stuff in terms of okay let, let's go to bali let's do this let's do that um, in the, at the end of the day, I many times found myself in the dangerous situations. One time we were swimming in a, like a pool in Bali. And at, the day after that, I just saw a few people die there on, on video. I mean, like it was pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's great. Wait, I have something here. I just can't read it. I'm not sure why. What, what is it? Yeah, make it a shot. Make it a shot. Like, that's even something I'm reminding myself of. Like, just make the freaking shot. Like, whenever you feel the fear, feel feel the uncomfortable feeling, just make the shot. And just go for that. You'll never regret that. And, like, in terms of, like, just, okay, you have 365 days in a year. If you just make a decision and, and just, like, maybe perhaps do something that, like, I've been done in the last 94 days, it pretty much is I'm... My aver- I'm averaging like 15 hours. I-, I made my math today. It's like 15 hours and 13 minutes. And like considering that the first two days I didn't work at all. And there was Christmas as well. So if we do it like... Yeah, I mean like pretty much 16 hours every single day. You just can make such a progress. And it's like 16 hours like just trying to like leaving everything in the out in the field, nothing left in the tank. Really interesting just to observe that. Yeah, uh, there's there's a price you have to pay and the sooner you pay it, you the sooner you, you achieve all of your dreams, goals, aspirations and stuff. Huh. Cool. Cool cool. Great. Um that should be it for today. I wish you the best. If you want to grow your social media, don't copy me. I guess like just recording podcasts that, um, uh, yeah, there's just so much work to do. Never mind. Cool. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.